There's a dog in a room and a pig in a room. Okay, now which one do you love and care for and which one do you kill and eat? There's a pig in a room and a dog in a room. Okay, which one do you love and care for and which one do you kill and eat? Oh God. <laughs> um, you'd love and care for the dog or both and the pig? <laughs> you, you would love and care for both? Yeah. Now which one do you love and care for and which one do you kill and eat? Uh, I would like the pig more. <laughs> but I wouldn't need the dog, so... <laughs> I like pigs and I don't really like dogs, so I'm okay. a little bit afraid of them, so... Okay, how about you? I don't really know, but yeah, yeah probably the pig. You'd, you'd kill and eat the pig? Yeah, probably. You would? Yeah. Oh, wow. I don't know. Well, not many people could do that, eh? Well, if I really, if I was really hungry, you would. I would do it, because okay. I know that I can eat pig, okay. the flesh of a pig. No one, no one. No, neither? Yep. Neither? You? It's the same, I think. Oh, you don't kill either. You love and care. No. For, you love and care for both. Yep. Sorry. Mm. You you love and care for both, or you, yeah, you? That's what you would do. Okay. Wow. Yeah. If you want to know, we we work um, three months in a piggy farm. Oh wow. And one day we kill one pig. Yeah. No. And we just realize that we maybe we have to stop to eat the, the pork and to wow. see that kind of stuff. So you don't eat animals anymore. No. Not, wow. not the pork. No pigs, but you yeah. eat other animals. Yep, yeah, we still keep going. Yeah. Oh, wow. The There's a pig in a room and a dog in the room. Mm -hmm. Okay, which one do you love and care for and which one do you kill and eat? I wouldn't kill any. You wouldn't kill any? No, but I love dogs more because I had more contact and interaction with dogs. Wow. Yeah. So you wouldn't eat any animals then? No. Oh, wow. So you're vegan? Yeah. Uh, I'm not, no. Not. Yeah, sometimes oh. I have a halloumi cheese. Or, oh, okay. Yeah. But, okay. Yeah. If the cute pig and a cute dog? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, and how about you? Yeah, I don't know, because pigs are cute as well. Like, piglets are cute. Yeah. Dogs, dogs are really cute. Yeah. So do you think if they're cute, it means we shouldn't kill and eat them? Or do you oh, no, now you're going to make me feel bad. <laughs> um, just, I think that's like the like human like response is like, yeah. if something's cute, you're like, oh, yeah, I don't want to eat it. Whereas some animals, yeah. But there's not that like empathy with them. Yeah, true. Whereas like a dog, there's so much like human emotiveness yeah. towards it. So yeah, I think that would definitely sway my decision. Yeah. How cute the animal was, but it's just because you had a connection with the pig, you yeah. stopped eating the, yeah. that particular animal. But yeah. exactly. other animals will still be killed. Yeah. Okay. Let's just say there's a dog and another animal that you eat. <laughs> the chicken. <laughs> okay. Which one do you love and care for, and which one do you kill and eat? Uh, uh, it's a hard question. It's yeah. a trap. Okay, so I'll have to like change the question a little bit to revolve around the cheese because in the dairy industry, the mothers are all killed when they can't produce milk mm -hmm. anymore. Okay, so about four, five, six years sometimes. And they have their children all taken away from them and mm. the boys are all uh, killed. So it's, let's just say that halloumi cheese kills the dairy cow. Okay, let's yeah, assume yeah. that. Let's just, as well. It does. Fifty percent of the the beef in the UK is mm -hmm. from dairy cows. Yeah. So it's still sort of the same sort of industry. Let's just say there's a dairy cow <laughs> on one side of the room. Yeah. Okay. And a dog on the other. Do we still not kill either? It's a difficult question because I mean the direct action of of killing an animal is not comparable to the situation that you pose. Nah, yeah. it's different, isn't it? Because it's not you actually doing that. It's you just paying someone exactly, to... Exactly, by my demand, I support a certain industry yeah, yeah. that then does the job, yeah. You probably personally wouldn't be able to kill either of them. Is that true? Or would I that be... I had to personally kill yeah. the animal. Yeah. That's why I feel like a lot of meat eaters, like, their argument falls down, okay. whether you can, like, actually do it yourself. Yeah. So which one would you pay for to be killed, which is what happens when we buy meat? Would you pay for the pig to be killed or pay for the dog to be killed? I just, I don't know. Like... What does your heart say? Like, like, I would pay for the pig because that's like the like societal. So what, that's the one culture has told you is the one to kill and eat. Okay, okay. I'll add another. Th I'll add a third thing into the picture. Okay, there's a pig in a room, a dog in a room. You're hungry, and there's also a vegan burger with. It's beautiful. It's got a lentil patty. It's got some vegan oh, cheese. Okay. That sounds good. That sounds I would good. Take that one. Yeah. You take the vegan burger. Yeah. I would. Okay. Me too. Okay. Do any of you you both eat pigs? Um. Bacon, sausage, salami, no, ham. No, just sometimes if I don't really want to be rude and say no to it. So you wouldn't eat and you would only eat an animal if you didn't want to be rude. 
Yes. Yeah, it's root to eat animals. It's a trap. <laughs> okay, let me add a third option. Okay, let me add a third option. There's a vegan burger, lentil patty with vegan cheese, no cruelty. We'll add that into the picture. Now, which one do you choose? <laughs> Is the vegan one? The vegan one? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Me, not with, not vegan one because I don't like vegetable. You I know. A, a burger? A vegan burger with yeah, lentil patty I, and cheese? and mm, But not not, uh, not cow's vegan. cheese, vegan yeah, cheese. I chose vegan one. You yeah. choose the burger? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, wow. What if you could get a cheese that didn't kill any animals? Would you be down for that? Yeah, absolutely. So yeah. if there was a third option, let's just say, no animal had to, to suffer and die for. Yeah. And that that would be like vegan cheese or vegan burgers with a, like a lentil burger or yeah, you know, yeah, would yeah. you be yeah. would you be willing to try that out? Yeah, of course, whenever there's a, a vegan option, then I'm absolutely down wow. for it. How about I add a third thing into this into the picture, okay? Okay, there's a pig in a room, a dog in a room, and a vegan burger. And a vegan burger's got a lentil patty, it's got vegan cheese, there's no cruelty in it, and it tastes delicious. Which one would you choose then? Um, yeah, probably the vegan, if the vegan food. If I had like an actual... Probably? <laughs> like, yeah, if I had a pig and a dog in front of me and a vegan yeah. burger, I would choose the vegan burger. Wow, that's mad. And you? Um, yeah, the vegan burger. Okay. I'm almost vegetarian, oh, but wow. it's sometimes Amazing. hard. How about you? Do, you? do you eat pigs? Yeah, I eat them. You eat but them? I normally know where the meat comes from, <laughs> oh, yeah. so... I used to eat pigs all the time, every morning. Sometimes three times a day I'd be eating pigs. But yeah, you know it comes from a slaughterhouse, yeah? Uh, yeah. Sometimes, yeah. But well, it always does, unless it's killed on the farm or something. Yeah, normally the, the meat I eat at home. Oh, it's killed on your farm. Yeah. Oh yeah. wow, who kills them? Not myself. Not, <laughs> oh, you don't. <laughs> no. But okay. I know the farmers. Oh, the farmer kills them for you. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, what if I offered you like a 22-day vegan challenge, and you get a mentor on Facebook, and they will help you do this challenge, so you can choose a vegan burger instead of the animal that has to get killed? Would you be interested? Yep. Yeah. Sure. Down. Yeah. Okay, I'll give you my card, okay? Yeah. Thanks. So we don't choose the animal anymore. That'll be for, it's exciting. Yeah. We can save animals' lives like that. Yeah. Well, would you be willing to do a challenge? <laughs> There's a bit of pressure there. Ooh. Okay, yeah. so, do you have Facebook? Yeah. Uh, I do, yeah. Okay, so this is a vegan challenge. Then you know like, that what you're eating isn't causing the death of animals, uh, either directly or indirectly, through your, you know, what you're supporting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> so what about if we cho chose the third option, vegan burgers, instead of killing the pigs. Yeah. You'd be keen for that? Yeah. Well, what I'm handing out is a vegan challenge. So I'll leave it with this. Any, do you both eat pigs currently? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I used to eat pigs sometimes three times a day, all, all animals. I was it ate a lot of animals. And you can just not kill the pig, not kill the dog, <laughs> care for the pig and the dog, and yeah. eat the vegan burger. Okay. You keen? Okay. If I gave you an option to choose the vegan burger, would you take it? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Would you? Yeah. Okay, because I'm handing out these cards, right? And they will coach you through a little 22-day challenge. And you can go, wow, that wasn't hard. No animals had to be killed on my behalf. Have a clear conscience, a clear clarity of mind. Yeah? Yeah. So it's yeah. just the cheese every now and then? Yeah, basically. Wow, that's pretty, yeah. you're pretty much there. The dairy industry is probably the, the most horrific I've seen since right. I've been vegan for four years now. Yeah. Dairy is scary. Okay. <laughs> if you, if you can it. stomach it. Wow. It's a hard question. It's a hard one because yeah. I couldn't kill an animal myself and I used yeah. to eat animals three times a day and I still couldn't kill them but now I realise that you know, I should just be consistent with my beliefs of not wanting to hurt animals and just eat vegan stuff because it's so much good. I use in, here, I'll give you this card. Vegan restaurants in Byron. Oh. Byron Bay. Okay? The pressure of your question. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It is a bit pressuring. Yeah, well, I ask myself the same question and I realise, like, I used to love pigs as a child. But I was always eating them and I didn't make the connection between the food and what happens to the animal in the slaughterhouse. Yeah. Do you always use pigs as examples or is it like... Other... I just feel like it's the closest animal to a dog. Okay. They're, they're intelligent, they're playful, they're smart, they're funny, they're, they want to love their, their, their children. And that's why I use a pig, but sometimes it's a cow or a chicken. Yeah. Either, no matter the animal, they're all sentient, feel pain, want to live, desire, you know, a life of freedom. Yeah. 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 Thank you very much. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Have a, what do you think about that? <laughs> Thanks for the interview. Appreciate that, eh? Good luck for you. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you very thanks, much. Thanks, brother. I appreciate that a lot. Thanks yeah, a lot. Thanks. Good time.